Now let's watch what fare is to the dealership. What kind of relationship there is between fare and dealership? So this is an ad that's made for the dealerships. Imagine you're a dealership, imagine you're owning shit on the cars and you're trying to sell them, you're doing everything you can to push that inventory. Here's an app that's just for you. So how does this app help you? Fair is an entirely new way to sell more pre-owned vehicles. Shabam, that's what it is. It's not a lease, it's selling cars. This app is for selling cars. Remember how she said, it's not a loan or a lease or a rental. Yeah, this is selling cars. It's not a rental, it's not a lease, it's not loan. It's selling cars. Stop lying. Stop fucking lying. Here's what they do. Here's the dealership. They sell a car to Fair App, which is a corporation. I'll tell you, I'll tell you a little bit about their corporation later. They sell a car to the corporation. Then this corporation owns shit ton of cars, thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of cars. Then they lease or rent, whatever the fuck you want to call it, because it's not a lease or a rent to you, the customer. At the end of five years, let's say you drive a car for five years. You don't own a car, so you can't sell it. You're going to pay for a car for rest of your fucking life. Whoever wants that, I haven't seen anybody that wants to have lifelong monthly payments. That's not it. You're responsible for maintenance and you're responsible for any repairs. If something breaks in a car, it's your ass on the line. Thanks to low monthly payments. Oh boy, low monthly payment. The only way to truly get low monthly payments on cars, just as an industry, okay? I'm not talking about you personally or me personally. I'm talking about revolutionizing the industry is to get rid of the dealerships. That's it. You have to delete the dealerships. We have to start buying cars directly from manufacturers. That is the only way that we can have any good deals. And we have to buy cars at the same price that they sell to the dealerships for. Simple as that. Dealerships have insane markups. Insane. And they get paid also after the sale of the car in the back end. So they get paid, get paid, get paid, and get paid some more. The only way we can get truly good deals on cars and brand new cars and used cars is go without the dealership get rid of the dealership with no long-term commitment fair is fast and easy customers have already signed a contract at home on their app so when they arrive at the dealership you can offer a great experience today's car buyer is used to doing everything on their phone no we don't do everything on our phone in fact only 20 percent of purchases in america are through the phone 80 percent of shit that's being bought is bought through the store a convenience store, a shop, a kiosk, a physical location, only 20% is done online. Stop deceiving customers. There's only a few things we do on our phone. Communication, entertainment, and a little bit of shopping. W what else do we do with our phones? That, that's pretty much it. Fair brings that effortless mobile shopping experience to your dealership. Hey guys, who would sacrifice painful shopping for benefit for their family over painless shopping but benefit for the corporation? Who puts their family over the corporations? That's it, there's only two camps. There's the my family camp and there's the multi-billion dollar corporations camp. How am I gonna go here? Am I gonna take care of my family and give them the best life? Or am I gonna bend over and let the dealership fuck me and take thousands of dollars away from my family? That's it, it's very simple. There's only two sides. Your family, multi-billion dollar corporations. You gotta choose how are you gonna go here? Are you gonna go the easy way and lose a lot of money? Or are you gonna go a little bit of hard way, a little bit of hard, just this much harder? You know, it's not fighting with a fucking grizzly like we had to do back in the day. It's not hunting a dinosaur. It's not, you know, trying to kill a fucking mammoth in Siberia somewhere. It's not defending your family from a, from a fucking grizzly bear. This is 21st century. Get on your computer, pick out the best car, get the best possible deal, go pick up the car. That's it. Why are you going through this app? This is a really bad deal financially. If you're lazy as fuck, if you have unlimited amount of money, FAIR is the app for you. Only FAIR offers low monthly payments. Oh boy, low monthly payments. What are they comparing this to? A house payment? A spaceship payment? And no fixed term, which means customers can come back for their next car sooner. So what does all this cost? Absolutely nothing. Whoa, I, now imagine this, we're watching this from the dealership's perspective. Holy shit. So you're telling me that you're gonna sell cars for me. I don't have to pay you anything. 
That sounds freaking amazing. Fair Corporation, how are you making money again? Oh, you're making money off suckers that you pedal your cars to? Oh, okay. Well, that's typically what we do, but if you want to be the sleaze bag this time around, we have no problem. With FAIR, there's no risk and no fees to your dealership. Wow, I don't have to risk anything and no fees. So literally, there's three parties involved in this situation. There's the customer, there's the FAIR app, the middleman, and there's the dealership. Dealership doesn't pay, has no fees and no risk, okay? FAIR app doesn't pay, has no risk and no fees. Who, oh, look at that. That's you, that's you. You have the risk, you have the payments, you have the fees. It's all you. The only reason that FAIR is making money is because of you. You're gonna go there, you're gonna overpay for the car and they're gonna make money from you. Literally, think about this. They bought $20,000 Honda Civic from a dealership. Here's the dealership, here's a $20,000 Honda Civic. We're gonna call this the Honda Civic, okay? Then, we're moving it to the FAIR app parking lot, okay? Now, you are gonna go and get this Honda Civic that they paid $20,000 for, okay? How can you pay less for that car when they have to make money? You can't, you physically can't. They can't make money if they're not charging you over $20,000. So it's gonna cost you more here than buying with the dealership. Does this make sense? I am trying to explain it as simply as possible. Now let's hear from our dealer partners. Oh boy, I would love to hear from their dealer partners. Typical fair customer is very tech savvy, younger, internet driven guy, looking to save time, doesn't have all the time to go and go from place to place. I am that guy. I am kind of tech savvy. I know how to make a call on my phone. I know how to send a text. I don't have a lot of time to be shopping around. That's why I use internet. Fair Corporation, have you heard of the internet? Internet is a really cool thing. You can sit on your computer at home and do all sorts of cool research. It's not just Pornhub, I know it's kind of crazy. You can also Google cars around you. You can find the best deal around the country. In fact, you can find the better deal across the country, ship it over to you, pay for shipping, get it to your house and pay for shipping. And it's still gonna be cheaper than this thing right here. I use internet for more than just Pornhub, fair. How is a tech savvy person gonna use this when they know how to use a calculator and internet? Tech savvy person is your worst enemy. You are literally targeting people that have never used internet before. Younger buyers these days, they do everything on their phone. We don't do everything on our phone. So why not get a car through your phone? Unlike with conventional financing, with fair, you're not locked into any particular deal. You can get in and get out of a vehicle whenever you like. That's true. I can get in and get out whenever I like. The only thing they are not mentioning is how much it's gonna cost me. They're not mentioning that. That's one of the great, great aspects of this new company. I really like that our customers come in, there's no stress, they're really happy, and it makes me happy that they could get in and get out. The only reason there is no stress and there's, they're so happy is because they don't know how much they're been getting ripped off. Guys, heads of the household, single moms, single dads, it's your job to take care of the family. If you have to stress, if you have to go through trouble or whatever the fucking situation you have to go through to take care of your family and give your family the best house, the best car, the best possible education, the best financial situation, it's your job. You took that responsibility when you started a family. Or are you gonna go the easy way and lose a lot of money, take it away from, from your family over to this corporation, give them a lot of money, pay them thousands of dollars over the years, tens of thousands of dollars over the years, thousands of dollars over one year. Are you gonna go the easy way or are you gonna have a little bit of stress but do the right thing? There's only two camps, doing the right thing and doing the lazy easy thing, simple as that. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up below and click the subscribe button over my head or watch one of those two videos if you wanna see more money saving tips about cars. This is Dan with 60 Minute Car. I'm signing out and I'll see you on the internet.